Well, nobody's been more impressive at the quarterback position when it comes to using your arm and your legs than Lamar Jackson. He's been a dynamic player for the Baltimore Ravens. Well, they're going to step up in competition this week. They're going to go on the road in a place that's very difficult to play and take on a Seattle Seahawks team, Buck, that's playing as well as anybody in the league. They're playing terrific up in Seattle, and one of the reasons why they're playing terrific is because Russell Wilson is playing like an MVP candidate. So when Lamar Jackson is standing on the sideline, I know he wants to kind of get with his coaches, but he probably should take a little glance onto the field and look at what an MVP caliber quarterback looks like in Russell Wilson. And when you look at Russell Wilson, it is not the scheduled plays that are making him an MVP. It's the off-schedule impromptu plays that he's making. And he's doing it with a no-name cast of wide receivers on the outside. Yeah, you have Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf, but I don't know if those guys would rank in the top 10 when people would talk about receivers that are dominating in the league. And so because Russell Wilson is able to really create these explosive plays, these big home run opportunities, I think it's all about the Baltimore Ravens defense and can they keep them contained. I just don't know if they can find the secret sauce because no one has been able to contain Russell Wilson over the last few years. And you look at Lamar Jackson, it's a bunch of design quarterback runs last week. I counted 16 of them. So 16 carries, I should say, 13 of them were design quarterback runs. So they're going to see a heavy dose of Lamar Jackson running the football. And I do think early on in this game, you're going to see the Ravens try and stretch out this defense, uh, take some shots over the top, try and loosen them up a little bit. The challenge for the Ravens is going to be the linebacking group for the Seattle Seahawks is as athletic and as explosive as any in the NFL. So if you want to try and get Lamar Jackson on the edges, on that zone read game, those keep game, uh, that keep game buck, it's going to be a challenge because these linebackers scrape and run laterally as well as anybody in the league. Yeah, they do scrape and run laterally well. But I'm going to go with the Baltimore Ravens in this one. When you go back and you look at the kryptonite that is typically plagued the Seattle Seahawks in their Superman formula, it is all about the run game and teams that are committed to just running it right at them. Well, that's how the Baltimore Ravens play. The Baltimore Ravens are going to play smash mouth old school ball. And I just don't know if the Seattle Seahawks can stack up. And Pete Carroll has always had problems with mobile quarterbacks. I'm just going to go with the Baltimore Ravens in this one. I just think they find a way to go on the road and win in front of the 12s. Yeah, I was tempted to do the same thing. I see what you're saying there. Uh, I just think Russell Wilson's having a magical season. I think that continues. And when you look at this uh, secondary for the Baltimore Ravens and the way they got beat up against the Cleveland Browns offense just a few weeks ago, I think there'll be some opportunities down the field. Stay away from Marlon Humphrey. That's my advice. Stay away from him. But well, you have some other opportunities down the field and challenge the communication on the back end of this defense. I think the Seattle Seahawks get a win, but I think this is a low-scoring competitive football game.